Uh, top U.S. Admiral Mike Gilday grilled by GOP lawmakers for adding the controversial book titled How to Be an Anti-Racist to His Sailor's Reading List. Kendi's book states that capitalism is essentially racist. Do you personally consider advocating for the destruction of American capitalism to be extremist? Here's what I know, Congressman. It's a yes There's or no racism question, Racism in the United States Navy. U.S. Army veteran and former GOP Texas congressional candidate Wesley Hunt. Sir, great to see you as always. As a veteran, how damaging is woke ideology to a fighting force? It's extremely damaging, and woke ideology actually has no place uh, when it comes to those brave men and women that are fighting and serving our country. We have got to come together to figure out the best way for us to, to, to get a mission serve our country and not worry about dividing ourselves across racial lines. In fact, it makes us less of a lethal force whenever we start to divide ourselves along these lines. And, and as somebody that's a West Point graduate and serving uh, side by side by so many brave men and women that did not look like me, the last thing that we cared about was, was one's racial background or racial makeup or, or the way they looked. We cared more about getting the mission done to ensure that we could get home alive and safe, and that needs to be the focus of our military. I mean, you're literally trained to kill so that you yourself are not killed. You have to have your brothers back. All That's this right. other stuff should be a non-factor, but it is not. Here's some okay. quotes from the book. Quote, there may be no more consequential white privilege than life itself. There is no in-between safe space of not racist. The claim of not racist neutrality is a mask for racism. Like fighting an addiction, being an anti-racist requires persistent self-awareness, constant self-criticism, and regular self-examination. How frightening, though, is it to you, Wesley, that our military is distracted by these thoughts, by these concepts when they should be 100% solely focused on training the military members to defend our nation. We are all Americans first, and that needs to be what our focus is in preserving our democracy. We should look no further than what we're going to see here with Juneteenth now being a federal holiday. That's amazing. That's an example of what American exceptionalism really is. We're talking about 100, hundreds of thousands of brave uh, men and women, black and white, that fought to end slavery. That's what our history is all about. Let's build and let's grow on that, and let's talk about the progress that we have made over this period of time. And by the way, it didn't take us that long to get here. And, and, and this is not about, you know, you know, fighting for a specific group or a specific person. This is all about fighting for Americans. That's what our military should be doing. That's what we were created to do. And that needs to be our focus and our mission moving forward and not dividing ourselves based on race. Juneteenth, now a federal holiday celebrated today this year because yeah. it does fall tomorrow on a Saturday. 30 seconds left to you, sir. How should we be honoring the importance of this day? instead of politicizing it. What a day. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Senator Cornyn for championing, for championing this, this bill. And we've been celebrating this in Texas here for the last 40 years, so it's way past due. But when I think about my ancestors, and I think about my great-great-grandfather who was a slave, I can only imagine the jubilation that they felt uh, when they were told that they were free of chains, free of bondage, some two years after uh, President Lincoln uh, passed the Emancipation Proclamation. This is a testament of American, uh, American exceptionalism and what we need to do to move forward to further this brand of Americanism for the future and for our future posterity. I'm very proud that it is a federal holiday, and uh, I, I really look forward to celebrating it here this weekend. Wow. Powerful words. Wesley Hunt.